Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So back in October of 2021, when Microsoft released the original version of Windows 11 version 21H2, as many of you will know by now, and as I have been posting over the last couple of years, Microsoft put some very strict and steep hardware and system requirements in place to be able to run and be upgraded, as an example, from Windows 10 to Windows 11. Now, um, two of the main system requirements um, that did affect a whole lot of different Windows 10 devices being unable to upgrade to Windows 11 were the TPM2 system requirement and the CPU processor requirement. And in regards to the CPU uh, um, requirements to be able to run Windows 11 officially, Microsoft has recently updated its list of supported Intel, AMD and Qualcomm processors for Windows 11 and been able to run the Windows 11 operating system. And um, it's also added some recently released uh, processes to this new list and these new lists. So if you are interested, and as an example, um, if you are trying to upgrade from Windows 10 to Windows 11 or build your own system, uh, you may find um, this video useful and of interest because um, the three lists we will look at today, I will obviously leave down below for you to go check out more in depth. Now, the first list uh, is the Intel list. And just to have a quick look at this. Now, obviously, these lists are very long. So we're not going to look at the whole list. I'm just going to go through one or two um, processes that have been added to these lists. And as mentioned, I'll leave each of these Intel, AMD, and Qualcomm processor lists in the description. Now, the new Intel um, chips and CPUs that have been included in this new list include the uh, new Core R9-13900KS and the R5-1334U or 13500HS. So those are the new uh, processors that have been added to the Intel list. And then if we just focus quickly on the AMD list, um, the new AMD uh, listings um, include AMD's new uh, 3D vCache onboard chips, those, those are listed now um, in the AMD um, processor list, um, including the AM4 and AM5 based processors such as the 7950X3D, the 7900X3D, or the 5800X3D, and then the Ryzen 3 4100, Ryzen 5 4500, or Ryzen 5 5600 CPUs. So those are the new um, chips that have been included in the AMD list. And then when it comes to the Qualcomm processors, um, they've included the Qualcomm's Snapdragon chips 8CX and the Gen 3 and Microsoft SQ3 are now also supported and have been added to, the added to this list. And as you can see, the Qualcomm processors have the shortest list available. But as mentioned, I'll leave each of these lists down below for you to go check out more in depth uh, if you would be interested. And uh, Microsoft has said that the processors listed in these lists that we have looked at today represent the processor models which meet the minimum floor for the supported processor generations and up through the latest processors at the time of publication. These processors meet the design principles around security, reliability, and the minimum system requirements for Windows 11. So those are the um, updated processor lists now from Intel, AMD, and Qualcomm, which enable you now to run Windows 11 officially using the CPUs listed accordingly. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.